Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Well, I'm really excited um, because now you may not have heard of these filters before and I'm, I'm, I think I might be one of the first to get them. And then these new Antlia filters. And it, Hi Logan, oh, the Antlia filters, mm. I've had them for months mate. In fact, I've yep. got two sets. Um, yeah, I, I got them last year I think. Really? Yeah, really good filter. Love them. Really good. Mm. Work really well. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, um, uh, yeah, it looks like um, Glenn's already got them. Okay, start again, start again. Uh, hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Well, um, you may have seen a video from um, Glenn, aka Astro Bloke, because uh, I think he's got them, but um, I've got these new Antlia filters. Now, I may well be just, you know, possibly the second person to... Hey Logan, where have you been, oh. man? I've been using the Antlia filters for months now, oh. and they're amazing. Oh. Okay, Joe's got them as well. Um, all right, okay, start again. Hi everyone, oh, welcome to another video. Well, um, you've probably seen the videos from Joe and Glenn. Um, they've apparently uh, got these new Antlia filters, but um, you know, apart from them, I really hardly know of anybody else who's got it's not them. Not too bad in Arizona. Hopefully, oh. I'll be able to get some imaging Jason? tonight. Hey Logan, I heard yeah. you uh, got those uh, Antlia filters. Uh, you know, I got mine and I've really, really liked them. Uh, they've been doing a pretty good job for me. He's got them as well. Has, has everybody got these filters? Okay, uh, let's see, take three, take four, lost track. Um, hi everyone, welcome to another video. Um, well, some really exciting news. I've got these new... It seems like everybody's got them. I wonder if Ollie knows about them. Give him a call. It's ringing. Hi hey, Ollie, Logan here. Hi, good day Logan, how's it going? Good, good, just got my new filters. Oh, you got them? Yeah, the antlers? Have yeah, you? I've had them in weeks, mate. You too, really? Yeah, I've had it ages, the antler are golden. Two inch. Oh, it's a brilliant filter, man. Oh, really? Yeah. So you just got yours now, did you? Yeah, I'm making a video. Yeah, I think a few people. I think I've seen a few people have got Seriously? them. Seriously, I, I mm. thought it was the first. Am I the last person to get these? Yes. yes. Okay. Thanks, man. All right. See ya. See ya. A bit embarrassing. New script. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video. Well, uh, you've probably already seen quite a few videos mm. uh, from other people about the new um, Antlia filters, the Pro Series, and um, I have finally, finally, uh, managed to uh, get a hold of some, and uh, here they are here. So I've got the... Um, LRGB filters here and the uh, three nanometer narrowband um, H, HA, S2 and O3 filters. Now um, I actually opted for the two inch variety um, because I have a two inch filter wheel already. Although at the same time I did order another two inch filter wheel. The reason being is that I'm going to take the Optilong filters out of my current 2 inch filter and put them into this one. I, I could have loaded the new um, antlers into this, but I didn't really want to have to start um, unbolting the camera off the, the old filter wheel and you know it's not that old and it's pretty much the same thing. So my plan is to just take the Optilong filters out of the ones currently on the telescope. Uh, and pop it into here, pop them into here, and then uh, replace them with these um, lovely two inch antlia filters. Uh, ages ago I first got uh, a two inch filter wheel because I was watching videos of people putting in 36 millimeter or whatever filters that are unmounted. That I'm not good with um, little tiny screws, you know, trying to, um, 
screw little little um, covers on the uh, or to secure the the unmounted filters into the filter wheel. I could see myself losing um, the screws or having them run across the top of the filters. So. Um, I took the easy way out and went for the two inch ones. I didn't have to worry about which way around to put them either because obviously you can only screw them in one way so um, there was no worry about trying to see which side was more reflective or not. Um, so yeah that's that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm really looking forward to um, having a go with these three nanometer filters and um, also see how they compare with uh, some of the uh, targets that I've been imaging currently and uh, I should be able to have with the narrowband particularly have some frames to compare between the Optolong 7 nanometer filters and the uh, 3 nanometer filters from Antlia. And uh, the other thing I'm, I'm quite excited about is that apparently these are all parfocal which means that um, once I focus for one of the filters I won't necessarily have to run through all the focusing procedure every time I change filter, which will be great and hopefully that will save some time. From what I can tell, um, it, it says that these are all power focal. And then I saw another thing, and I think it was on the Antlia um, website or one of the other um, people reselling them said that the, the narrowband ones were as well. So I'll double confirm that, um, maybe check with um, the the many other people who have already got these filters and see whether uh, they have found them all to be far focal with each other. So um, yeah, next thing to do is to get the uh, filter wheel um, off the telescope at the moment, it's on the Skywatcher Esprit, and get it into here and start transferring these um, the Optolong ones onto the filter wheel and installing the new antlers. Right, so over here I've got the old filter wheel with the camera uh, bolted onto the back. And I've got the new filter wheel over here. I'm going to be transferring the Optolong filters from here to here because I really don't want to be having to pull the whole thing apart to um, get the camera off and then install it back onto here. I'd rather just change the filters over. So what I'm going to do is first of all take these um, screws off. Okay, so that's done. So I'm just going to carefully take this off. And just place it face down over here. So here are the filters and they're the two inch filters. So what I'm hoping is that I can, um, I bought the two inch ones because I thought they were much easier to, to perhaps put in. So I'm just going to take these, this and unscrew it. Oops, that was number one. Still do not enjoy doing this sort of thing. Uh, seems the more you, even though these are much easier, being screwing just seems the more you concentrate the harder it gets <clears throat> and I'll we'll take the first one of the Antlia filters and I've watched other people doing this and seeing how tightly these are sitting in the bags and I was also suggested to remove that sticky right out of the way well, Actually, this is a lot easier to get out, I think. And this is the first one going in. Okay, and I think. Let's put it on like this. Okay, that's number one. So we'll just carry on. There they are, they're all in. Right.
and they're all transferred in. You probably notice here there's little bits of tape that's to cover up little holes um, which where I was getting some light leak coming in particularly from the um, camera that monitors the actual telescope at night when it's um, imaging and because they had little infrared lights um, the infrared was getting in through these holes and actually um, causing problems with my, my imaging. I actually turned the camera um, off but um, there's still a source of light leak there. So I know it goes against the laws of astrophotography that, you know, because in theory when you get a new piece of equipment um, you should get clouds or if not rain. And uh, tonight I've got a uh, bonus clear night. Well, for a little bit of the night I can see some clouds are coming in on the radar but uh, um, you know, it's nearly midnight and I've been imaging since about uh, 8 o'clock. And uh, so it's given me the opportunity to try out the Antlia um, Hydrogen Alpha filter. Right, so I've only got a little bit to show you uh, in Pixon site because, as I said, I've only um, just had a short bit of imaging sessions with these and primarily used the Hydrogen Alpha and the Sulfur 2. I haven't um, looked at the O3, which I know is a question everybody has. Um, about halos etc um, but there are plenty of videos out there showing the differences between people's previous filter sets although they may differ from from my one because mine's the Optolong 7 nanometer filters um, but I know there are some others comparing with the, the beta um, and I think probably the ZWO as well but um, looking a little bit closer into that image that uh, I was showing you earlier of uh, Centaurus A galaxy Zoomed out, uh, it's hard to see a, a big difference, but it's once you zoom in uh, that you can see the difference. And if we look here, so Optolong filter 7 nanometer here, Antlia filter 3 nanometer here, I think you can see that these little defined um, areas of uh, hydrogen alpha nebulosity in the galaxy are, are much more obvious. Uh, and better defined, even little ones running along here, whereas here it's hard to see them at all and these ones um, fade off into the distance a bit. Now I know this was done at different nights, so there's bound to be a degree of different seeing, etc. Um, but I have imaged this target over many nights, in fact I've got about 35 hours of hydrogen alpha. And this sort of appearance is repeated night after night after night, um, compared to when I have done my my night straight uh, straight after. So this was done I th on on like the sixth, uh, on the seventh um, of uh, May, and this was done uh, on the eighth. Um, so it is a consistent appearance here, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it is definitely making a difference. Also, if you look at the star here, there is a little bit of a halo. It's sort of it's not a well-defined halo, so it hasn't got those hard edges like the Optolong. Uh, L Extreme and Alan Hans have, but there is a bit of a halo of it fading out, whereas it, here it's a little bit more of a sort of a, a round defined star with not much um, a spread of light into the into the background space. Um, this is another target that I'm doing and I'm not really going to show you what I've done on the target, I just wanted to show you the star which is sort of a bit brighter again. So 3 nanometer Antlia on the left, a 7 nanometer Optolong uh, on the right, Sulfur 2. And there is a, an obvious halo around here with, with a little bit of a defined edge actually. And those do become more evident the more you stack them. Now one thing about the Optolong uh, narrowband filters, um, I found them excellent and uh, the situation with halos is relatively minimal. You can see them. Uh, in particular when you stack them, but they're not those really big harsh ones that you see in the um, Alan Hart Sound Extreme. So uh, I think they're still a really great filter um, considering that they are considerably cheaper than something like the Antlia filters and considerably, considerably cheaper than the um, Chroma and Astralon filters. But yeah, here's this um, halo out here and when you look here there's the star and it kind of there's not really a defined halo here at all so certainly there is um, uh, an improvement there again on this uh, with these filters 
So um, I haven't really had too much of a chance to image anything with LRGB and I will do that at some stage and uh, may make that uh, a video um, at a later date. Um, if anything pops up on the O3 when I start doing that I might just do a little update to show, show you there but so far um, things are I'm pleased with the even even though it's subtle on each individual um, frame um, I think the, the thing is that as you stack these frames it becomes more evident where you're getting the benefit from these nano, uh, three nanometer filters so um, yeah I'm looking forward to uh, how things go in, in future targets um, I'll continue to use the long two inch filters uh, in one of my other rigs so uh, maybe that'll end up over with the mid 10 inch I don't know uh, but anyway um, that is my uh, experience with the uh, loading into the filter wheels of the um, 3 nanometer 2 inch mounted filters um, and I just want to say a big thanks to uh, Joe Navarro from joesastrophoto.com and I uh, Glenn aka Astro Bloke and Jason um, AZ Forerunner um, and also Ollie Ollie's Astro for um, sending me those little clips at the beginning um, so thanks very much guys for contributing to the silliness in the video and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next um, video well I hope I have actually a finished image that is at least partially done with the Antlia filters until then, clear skies. Hey guys, guys, what did you think of my acting at the beginning? Was it really good? Yes. yes. Ollie, Ollie, you there? What did you think? Ollie, was my acting good? A bit embarrassing. Oops.